Malachi 2.7 tells us that the lips of a priest ought to preserve knowledge. What does that mean? And how does that apply to us today as believers? Because Peter tells us that uh, followers of the way, disciples of Jesus, are all a royal priesthood. So we should be people who preserve knowledge. I think most of us realize that the kind of knowledge that uh, Malachi is talking about here in Malachi 2.7, though it may have an intellectual component, is not really primarily about academia or information or facts. Uh, if we have better information, we are able to make better decisions. But really, I think preserving knowledge comes down to three things. And for today's Pastoral Connect, I just want to briefly touch on them as kind of a preview for this Sunday worship service on September 19th. First, a priest should process personal experiences well. There is an intellectual component to that, to kind of step outside of it and try to analyze things. But the idea of knowledge here really is an accumulated an experience, an accumulation of experience, while also recognizing the limitations of experience. So here's what I mean. Uh, Paul tells us that knowledge, especially experiential knowledge, can really puff us up and really get us to this kind of been there, done that phase. But the humble priest, the priest that's really walking in step with the spirit, knows that their personal experience can never be more than just the smallest fragment of all that is out there. As Paul says, we see in a glass darkly. So a priest processes their personal experience as well, but it creates an empathy in them for other people and a humility to say, uh, well, I have enough experience to maybe relate to you and identify with you, but I don't really know what that experience was like for you. Um, there's an increasing sense of like when we're frustrated with people because we don't think that they're processing their life experience as well, that we're kind of just like, oh, that's nothing. I've been through this. Or look, you need to get over it. When that shows a lack of empathy and humility. Um, and therefore, we're not really preserving knowledge. So let's focus on processing our own experience as well. And then that changes how we then respond to other people as they share their experiences. A priest also develops what could be called intuition. This idea of knowledge in Malachi 2.7 can even mean unintentional knowledge. Uh, so it's not just, oh, I'm gonna study this book and accumulate this knowledge. Again, that's intellectual, that's academic. But it's more that a priest is just kind of walking with the spirit through life and then experiencing connections. Uh, and here's what I mean by that. Uh, an unintentional knowledge, a kind of intuitive knowledge, is where we see God more and more in all of our experiences. So we say, oh, this, but then God is not this. Like God is in this, but not this. Well, let me give you an example, and maybe here I'm just being a little crazy or goofy or foolish, but um, it's a beautiful thing for me. Uh, I'm not actually personally a, a big fan of John Denver, but a few of his songs really touch me, and I'm dating myself here. But he has a song that he dedicated to his wife at that time named Annie. It's called Annie's Song. And I've always known that song really as You Fill Up My Senses. It's a beautiful melodic tune uh, that he dedicated to his wife. But for me, it's really about God's spirit and the kind of affection I have for God's spirit because he has so loved me. Um, and that's so John Denver meant it for Annie, but I see God in it. And yet it's not God. Um, there's just this sense of always uh, walking in step with God 
and then realizing at the same time that in another way you're missing God. Uh, but that changes how we look at all experiences. It helps us, I think, identify with Christ in his sufferings and in his rejoicing. And when we do that, the priest is not only processing personal experience as well, the priest is not only gaining kind of an intuitive knowledge or wisdom, even if it's a little crazy sometimes, but then the priest is living life skillfully. When the priest does all three of those things, then we are preserving knowledge and being a source of grounding for other people and for ourselves. And that's a win-win. And win-wins are encouraging. So be encouraged and set yourself as a priest of the word to preserve knowledge. Have a blessed day.